Hey folks, what's up, man? Sam, man of the big green hat. I'm here at Bogle State Park near Blairsville, Georgia, kind of in the northeast part of the state, exploring the Lake Trilita Trail. At the end, past the dam, there's a spur to see a waterfall. We all know I'm a sucker for a waterfall, and this lake is quite beautiful. Let's go see what we find. This is the start of the lake, Trilita Trail, crossing Wolf Creek. This trail runs in a loop about a mile around the lake itself. Some beautiful tall hemlocks here at Vogel State Park. Love these huge rhododendrons in bloom. Lots of things in bloom here. Here's some of the rhododendrons. Still just covered in blooms. There's also lots of Joe Pie weed along the hillside. And there's some woodland flocks that we're coming up on here. The trail comes up a bit here and Orders the road that you come in on when you're entering the state park. This is a nice boardwalk. Across the way are cabins, and the trail runs along kind of the bottom of them, right along the lake itself. I would love to stay in one of these lakeside cabins. This is a nice little fishing pier. All alone there's swings and places to just stop and enjoy this place. The trail seems to split here. I don't know which path is the correct one, but this one seems the more traveled one. It's down to another great fishing spot. A place to hang your hammock. What a view. This is an unnamed, uh, currently dry little tributary. Wolf Creek. This one isn't. But I know there are a number of springs up here. And see this just sort of emanates straight out of the ground there. It's cold and wonderful. Oh, check out this pine. Wow. 
the other spur trail has rejoined. So one just stays in a little more in the woods and closer to the road and the other takes you down to the lake. I prefer the one by the lake. I love how lush the ferns are here. Ferns and rhododendrons and ferns and rhododendrons and everything covered in moss. So beautiful. You see the dam in the distance there. And like many other uh, structures here at Vogel State Park, it was constructed by the CCC back in the 1930s. This state park is actually the second oldest state park in the state of Georgia. And also one of the most popular, but not because of its age. The scenic beauty here is just, it's just something else. You have to hit this with the rotted engines in bloom. Even here in mid-July when I'm filming this, the temperature is 83 degrees and I've been waking up to 60s every morning. That is a treat here in the south this time of year. Coming out on the dam here on Lake Trollita. The falls are somewhere below. I'm going to get this view. That is Slaughter Mountain there in the background. There's a sheriff knob over here to the right. On the other side of Slaughter Mountain is Lake Winfield Scott Recreation Area. A great place to camp as well. Very quiet. This is a spillway that's been refurbished a bit here. And there below is Trolita Falls. This thing here is a cool water release pipe. The water coming out of the pipe and the spillway is flowing from the bottom of the lake. The cool water on the lake bottom is forced by pressure through the cool water release pipe. Water is oxygenated as it flows over the dam into Wolf Creek below. This action provides cool oxygenated water that is necessary for an ideal habitat for the trout that live in the stream below the dam. A little spur off the lake trail, cut the Trilita Falls Trail. It's not a very far walk. A little bit of rough walk in here. Have some of those steps. winding around to the right now. There's an access road to the left. It comes down for maintenance, I suppose. 
considering how wide some of these trails are you could almost mistake it for a trail love these tall hemlocks coming up to the falls now it leads down to a platform Cascade that feeds into the side here. Got a view of the two flooded engines. Yet another reason to love the state park. This is a wastewater treatment uh, facility, obviously, and it's put in specifically to treat the waste coming from the comfort stations and and whatnot within the state park itself before being released in Wolf Creek so that it makes it safe for the environment provides a, a favorable habitat cool stuff now we're on the other side of the lake the views are a bit more hampered here at the start and this noisy thing to the right is County Road 180. This leads you down um, to the Cooper Wildlife Management Area and Lake Winfield Scott Recreation Area and Sosipi Cove, which is a wonderful little spot to find wildflowers. Obviously, what a buried sewer line is. They do these kind of things back in Alabama, where I'm from, and call them linear parks or greenways. It's already environmentally compromised lands, so it's easy enough to get a permit to build a trail on. Lots of little wildflowers blooming in this area. This wild pea. There's goldenrod over here. But one of my favorite is mountain mint. When it blooms, the leaves turn this kind of whitish mint color. And I won't tear any of this off. But the fragrance, ah, uh, that is wonderful. Going up here a bit here now. Closer to the road. 
and the cabins, which is great. I wanted to get a look at some of these cabins because they're built like true log cabins. Well folks, technically, the trail ends here and I double checked it with a map. But, we'll keep going. Just try to take a gander at these cabins. How wonderful would this be? Right on the lake itself. There's even a little fishing pier down there. There's a number of others off to the side. And of course you have moderate amenities of heating and cooling and power and all that. But the style is, is what draws me. And we don't have to walk the road. Go down here to the lake itself. water is so clear. I hope you can see that through the camera. How clear this water is. Beautiful. I'm going to ramp this video tour up here. Fishing pier, the beach area. So I hope you've enjoyed this little tour of the lake trail and some of the cabins and scenery of Vogel State Park. Until next time, keep exploring and stay wild for folks, and thanks for watching.